So you talk about people's purpose in life. What does that mean? What is someone's purpose in life? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A, per a person's purpose in life. A person's purpose in life uh, is actually something as simple as uh, what do you enjoy in the moment. So typically people make purpose in life too grandiose. But a purpose in life is actually anything that gives a person energy. So if you do something and you feel energized, that's actually your purpose in life. And because it's so simple, we miss it. Right? It's those things. Here's a great example. So let's say, for instance, you find yourself when you're stressed, uh, scrubbing like every cabinet um, and scrubbing like the floors and things like that. You can't stop yourself from doing it. And then you, you, you're going crazy because everybody else thinks that you're crazy. That's your purpose in life. And because it sounds so outlandish, nobody wants to accept it. But that's where we actually really find our powers. Because we do that without even noticing we do it. And as a matter of fact, because it's so natural to us, um, it gets undervalued. So, um, I would say a person's purpose in life is where actually they naturally find flow. It's a place where they go uh, when they're stressed. It's a place, the last place you would look for, in general, as your purpose in life. And sometimes people get lucky. Like, you know, some people, uh, they find that place of energy, like say for instance, playing music. And then they become eventually musicians and things like that. But those are generally in the minority. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay. So how does someone pursue their purpose in life? How does somebody pr pursue anything that brings joy in your life or that energizes you? And you have to have awareness. It sounds actually simpler than it, it really actually is. Uh, you know, most of the time we are so caught up in doing what needs to be done, such as you know, being responsible. And being responsible is important. Um, but because of that, you actually... undermine such things as hobbies. Hobbies are very important. You know, hobby is actually something you do simply because you love it. But it oftentimes doesn't seem as important. And it also seems very unrealistic to go in that area uh, as a means of life. Uh, but as a person becomes honest with themselves and actually takes care of these small little things, you start finding actually in the moment what really makes a difference for you and others. So even if you're in your job, oftentimes you know, people think in terms of purpose in life in terms of um, like a job or a career. But it's actually, it's actually smaller than that or bigger than that. So if let's say for instance, you have an uncanny um, ability to organize and you can't stop yourself from organizing, then actually whenever you organize, you're actually performing your purpose in life. So to say that, to understand that deeply, and to also see where you're losing energy. There's some things you're not, you're not meant to do. So being able to see the balance between what energizes you and what doesn't would be the first step towards pursuing it and finding what it is.